stage is set, the manor is ready, the fire is roaring and the champagne is flowing. And of course the house is full of all those fabulous guests who have congregated for the very first Kaya Late Night Fashion Council. Let's go inside and meet all those fabulous fashionistas and discuss the business behind the world of fashion. Rina Chunga. I own a brand called Rich Factory and we are here for Kaya FM's Fashion Council. My interest in the Kaya FM Fashion Council first of all was speaking to LISOF students. Being somebody who went to, who went to LISOF myself, it's great to motivate and also have a story the same as a student who's in first year and be able to motivate them or be able to say this is what I did wrong, don't do that, or this is what I did right do that. Hi, my name is Dumogutama. I'm here at Emoyeni for the Kaya FM Fashion Council. Um, it was so good. I got here basically just to learn about the South African fashion industry and it was very, very um, a good platform basically for, for, for some of us. Um, and so, yeah, thank you so, so much Kaya FM for hosting something like this where we get like more knowledge and we hope to see more of this in the future. Hi. My name is Dima Katsomoji. I am working in the Department of Trade and Industry in the clothing and textile sector. I am at Emoyeni Estates. I'm here with uh, Bridget Masinga. Well, where do I see the South African fashion currently? Um, it is in a state where I think it can improve. It's still at an infancy stage, I think, because um, we're very scattered all over the place. But um, I think uh, it is a very uh, huge platform that can grow the economy of the country. What a fabulously rich night this has been and I think our guests will be in agreement. It's been a night of incredible debates, of idea sharing, of knowledge sharing and most importantly I think everybody has thoroughly had a fantastic time. So from us at Kaya Late Nights we'll see you at the next Fashion Council.